More than two years have passed since Audi unveiled its second-generation R8 supercar, which migrated from its former Lamborghini Gallardo underpinnings to those of the mightier Huracan. The current high-water mark among road-going R8s is the viciously quick 610 HP V10 Plus Coupe, which we have fully vetted in Euro-spec form, in a comparison test, and at lightning lap. This test represents the first time we've strapped our test equipment to the new for 2017 R8 Spider, which initially is offered only with the R8 S Base 540 HP V10. We haven't previously tested this powertrain in any R8. A 610 HP V10 Plus Spider is coming in 2018, and other powertrains are planned for both body styles, after experiencing the Plus model so often, would a 540 horse R8 feel inadequate? We also wondered if the soft roof would be accompanied by a softer character, considering that all R8s with this version of the engine ride on adaptive magnetoriological dampers instead of the Sport. Suspension found in the V10 Plus, ragtops are innately social machines, more fully exposing their occupants not only to the sun and sky but also to other humans. When that convertible looks like the Huracan Spider or the R8 Spider, those other humans often engage, although in decidedly different ways. When driving a Huracan, one can count on hilarious fanboy freakouts on any given trip but equally as many stern glares and acts of outright hostility from other motorists. In the R8 Spider, however, we basked in thumbs-ups, smiles, friendly nods, even the occasional, hey, that's Tony Stark's car. Can you tell we drove it in movie Mad Los Angeles, whether Lambo hate is simply envy made manifest, or a defensive reaction to the Huracan's full aggro, come in to steal your children design is a question best left to psychologists but in our experience. The R8 just doesn't garner the same vitriol. Flick the turn signal on a jam-packed freeway and watch space in. The adjacent lane open right up, accompanied by a beckoning wave. Do the same in a Lambo and you could be boxed out for miles. The R8's conservative redesign hasn't changed their reaction from the proletariat, but we wish Audi had pushed it a little bit further. Sexy as it is, there are few styling elements, from the front-end graphic to the metallic windshield surround and fuel door to the spine-like air extractors over the engine, that aren't carried over nearly exactly from the original, and the changes that have been made aren't necessarily improvements. The added geometric lighting units and angular grille openings front and rear have stiffened and sterilized its appearance, particularly in our test car's hospital white with black convertible top, the only top color offered for this first year. The Spider now features a contrasting side blade. Over each side air intake, like the R8 coupe, which helps liven up the looks, particularly when equipped with the $4,800 carbon exterior package that also applies gleaming carbon fiber to the rear deck and the side blades. In this spider's case, more razzle-dazzle was only a 20-second top drop away, revealing a stunning, lipstick red leather interior that picked up the color of the tail lamps and red painted brake calipers. Diamond pattern quilting on the 18-way adjustable sport seats and carbon fiber. Accents kept the show going, although none of that came for free. The diamond-stitched leather package costs $3,500, the in-cabin carbon. Accents run $3,400, and splashing red paint on the calipers cost $700. Along with a $1,500 set of 20-inch forged aluminum. Wheels and the $1,300 gas guzzler tax, this car's price bloated from its $177,650 base to $191,550. Yikes, however enjoyable.